Hey everyone, welcome again on my channel. My name is Chandwal Tiwari Om and I teach history on Unacademy platform. Uh, this is me. So yeah, uh, basically I teach history for NTUGC net and set examination. If you are new on uh, Unacademy platform, you can search my name Chandwal Tiwari Om or just uh, in short Om Tiwari. You'll find uh, such profile. You can scroll down and uh, see all the all sorts of classes like uh, in special section you'll find certain classes which are free for you it's uh, free for everyone you do not need any kind of paid subscription to watch those sessions you can watch those classes apart from that if you are totally new to unacademy platform and if you are uh, logging in for the first time you might need a code to unlock the platform or unlock the classes so you can apply this code that is om diwari and if you apply this code you'll get access to the uh, to the app and the classes all the free classes if you want to subscribe to the plus platform you can again apply this code that is om tiwari and if you apply this code you will get 10 percent discount over your fee uh, other than that uh, like uh, what we are doing here it's the third video which uh, uh, which is talking about the quick revision of um, various important factual topics but before that yeah one more thing is that i have a telegram channel for all my students this telegram channel is especially for ndu gc net examination net and set examination ke jo bacche hain unke liye maine ye aapka telegram channel banaya hai you can search om sishri or just t.me oblique hat story and if you search this uh, you will get to my channel and uh, in this channel i'll uh, i regularly uh, update you guys about my upcoming plus all special classes paid or free classes on unacademy platform and all i also inform about my upcoming and even like uh, published youtube sessions so you can join me on telegram as well anyway uh, in this video we are going to talk about the harappan sites some of the important harappan sites now please remember that i'm going to i'm not going to talk about all the harappan sites here i'm going to talk about only the important ones and uh, those which are very very important to keep uh, in mind so i'm going to talk only uh, only those set up in sites so let's quickly get to those set up in sites without wasting much time yeah the very first site is your Harappa. Now we are saying that Harappan civilization, why not Indus Valley civilization? Because all the sites, they are not restricted just to Indus Valley. Uh, the sites, they are very vast and very interspersed throughout uh, like your Northwest India, your North India, even your West India, like in Gujarat. So we cannot say that the sites, they belong just to your Indus Valley system. That's why we are not using Indus Valley civilization these days. We use Harappan civilization because Harappa, it was the first city which, was, which had been discovered and and it's a type site which shows us all the chief characteristic of the civilization anyway if we talk about lake harappa uh, this site it was uh, first discovered around 1921 the chief excavator here was the ram sahani dr sahani he was the one who excavated this site but other than uh, the dr sahani we have like some other people as well who excavated this site like uh, we have Madhu Swarup Vats, Madhu Swarup Vats, he also excavated this site in 1926. Then we have another excavator, Mortimer Wheeler, he is very, very important for us. Wheeler excavated this site in 1946. This site has been excavated by these people. The first one was Daya Ramsani, do not forget his name. Uh, this city, uh, Harappan city, uh, it belonged in your Pakistani Punjab area it's in your Pakistani Punjab uh, if we talk about like uh, the river so it's situ it is situated on the left bank of Ravi some of the features of this city uh, this Harappan site is obviously we find a planned city we find a grid on pattern grid pattern but uh, please remember that the Harappan cities they do not follow the grid pattern absolutely apart from that uh, this place it gives us a row of six granaries that's like a very important finding which we do get here Harappan mm, this is also the only place among the Harappan sites which give us a coffin burial we find a coffin burial of a woman in a wooden coffin here at Harappa it's the only such instance where we find this thing apart from that uh, apart, apart from coffin burial we also find fractional burial here fractional burial what is this fractional burial 
it means like a second burial like when the body is dead you leave the corpse in out in the open for some time period and when then after it decomposes you gather the bones and you bury it apart from that uh, we find various later happen cultural phases here like symmetry edge culture and symmetry r37 cultures it has also been found apart from that some other findings if we talk about from harappa we find a male nude statue here male nude statue jisko kabhi kabhi nataraj statue bhi bol sakte hain okay it's a broken one yeah but we do find from harappa moving towards uh, the other side other than harappa then we have the most important city which gives us a lot of seal uh, related to your harappan time period a lot of uh, uh, like uh, important characteristic of harappa it came from mohenjodaro basically mohenjodaro this site has been uh, excavated or discovered for the first time in 1922 by rakhal das banerji rakhal das banerji he was the chief excavator or he was the one who discovered this site for the first time but apart from uh, rakhal das banerji this site has also been excavated by e g h macke e j h macke he also excavated this site in 1927 uh, apart from that again wheeler wheeler is important for us mortimer wheeler very very important for us he excavated this site in 1946 if we talk about like uh, in which area this site belong to so everybody knows this site is in larkana district of pakistan in sindh area it's in larkana district sindh area and uh, it's on the right bank of river indus we talk about like certain features so uh, again the city has a grid planning a grid system but again it doesn't follow the complete grid system uh, we find greenery here a large greenery has been found not in a row like we find in harappa but yeah a large greenery has been found it is in fact sometimes called as the highest or the greatest structure for uh, from mohenjodaro then we also find a great path here the great path sometimes considered as the highest structure uh, like uh, here we also find uh, certain human skeletons certain human skeletons they have been discovered from this place which have been haphazardly uh, uh, like found it showed some sort of massacre happened here at mohenjodaro from the superficial level of your uh, mohenjodaro from the superficial level we do find the evidence of horse here from the superficial level please remember a piece of woven cotton have also been found from mohenjodaro that's also an important thing uh, this town the decline of town it's being uh, attributed to recurrent floods the recurrent floods which happened in this area it uh, was considered as the reason for the decline of the city these are some of the important features of this city uh, moving on to the next site that is our chanudaro now if we talk about like chanudaro now this site have been discovered in 1931 that's your chanudaro this chanudaro site it was uh, first at first like uh, even before 1921 E J H Mackey, he was the one who studied this site. E J H Mackey in 1925, uh, but uh, the organized kind of excavation of this site it happened in 1931, and uh, the person who excavated is was N Gopal or N G Majumdar. So N G Majumdar. he was the one who excavated this site now this site it again uh, is in sindh chanudaro it's in sindh indus pinare uh, pakistan obviously uh, this city if we talk about certain features so this city had no citadels like we know harappan cities most of the harappan cities they had the lower towns and the citadels the upper mount but this city has no citadel uh, this city is known for its bead workshops 
we do find many bead workshops it's a small city but we do find various bead workshops from here a small pot possibly an ink pot has been found because we know harappans knew how to uh, read and write so yeah possibly uh, an ink pot has been found uh, we also from this chanudaro we find a footprint of a dog possibly chasing a cat so footprint of a dog has been found here then uh, this is also the site chanudaro where we find three different cultural layers three different cultural layers have been found from this site so we are finding the mature phase the indus valley uh, level then we are find, finding the jukar phase here towards the late harappan and after jukar phase we also find the jhangar phase here the jhangar cultural phase all these jukar and jhangar cultural phase they belong to your later harappan time period moving to the next site that site is your kalibangan again a very very important site kalibangan it was discovered in 1953 Uh, this kalibangan site uh, again uh, because uh, th th this site is an important one it has been found in rajasthan but uh, first 1953 this site was excavated by amalnanda ghosh your bb lal bb lal he was at that time the head of archaeological survey of india and bk thapar bb lal and bk thapar they excavated this site in 1961 okay so these are some major excavation done at uh, kalibangan like i was mentioning it was the region is rajasthan this kalibangan site it's in rajasthan on the bank of now dried ghaggar river on the bank of ghaggar now uh, if we talk about like some of the features so both the pre harappan and the mature phases pre and mature phases of harappans it has been found here code, uh, uh, from kalibangan we also find the evidence of furrowed land from here furrowed land juta hua khet it has been found from here uh, the evidence of a row of fire altars seven fire altars in a row it has been found from this area seven fire altars this uh, kalibangan city it was a well organized city every house had its own private well in kalibangan it uh, also give us the evidence of wooden furrow because again we find the furrowed land uh, furrowed field here so yeah wooden furrow ka aapko evidence milta hai from kalibangan uh, some other uh, like uh, evidences or features from kalibangan we find a seal and seal depicting a human sacrifice from here kalibangan it also gives uh, three types of burial for us three types of burial like uh, we do find the supine burial from here the supine burial then we find the fractional burial and we find the symbolic burial from here supine burial means like uh, the extended burial jahan pe insaan mar gaya aur fir usko dafna diya तो उसको लेटे हुए पोजीशन में दैट्स योर सुपाइन वी आल्सो फाइंड द फ्रैक्शनल बरियल वी हैव जस्ट टॉक्ड अबाउट की व्हाट्स फ्रैक्शनल बरियल एंड वी आल्सो फाइंड सिंबॉलिक बरियल की वी डोंट ओनली हैव द ग्रेप गुड्स नॉट द स्केलेटन दिस हैज बीन फाउंड फ्रॉम कालीबंगन मूविंग ऑन टुवर्ड्स द नेक्स्ट सिटी दैट इज द सिटी ऑफ लोथल नाउ इफ वी टॉक अबाउट लाइक द सिटी ऑफ लोथल गाइस सो इट हैज बीन डिस्कवर्ड इन 1953 सिटी फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इट हैज बीन डिस्कवर्ड in 1903 and the chief excavator at the city it was your sr rao he was the one who excavated this city in 1953 uh, if we talk about like uh, where was this city uh, city situated so it's in gujarat modern day gujarat on the bank of river bhugav or bhugava it's on the bank of river bhugava or bhugav now uh, if we talk about like uh, some of the features so we find a uh, tiled floor floor here a tiled floor from this side we find the remains of a rice husk from this area so that means rice cultivation used to happen in this area evidence of horse have been found because we find a terracotta toy resembling a horse okay so a terracotta toy 
resembling a horse have been found from here mm, uh, on a seal uh, we find ship has been in, uh, engraved so ship on seal has also been found from here apart from that uh, bead making industries bead making mm, and trade evidences have been found from here mm, an instrument for uh, measuring angles it has been found angle measure measuring device it has been found here that's like modern compass kind of device uh, like thing has been found from here mm, lothal se hi aapko there is a depression which is considered as dockyard has been found we also find a fire altar from lothal lothal uh, lothal is also important guys because we find a multiple burial here sometimes recognized as as this burial is of a man and a woman okay so we find a multiple multiple burial from lothal uh, moving from uh, for other site uh, the site is your banauli now this site it has been discovered in 1974 and uh, the site was your excavated by R S Bisht. R S Bisht. He was the one who excavated the site uh, in 1974. Now, if we talk about like where was this site? So this site is in Hisar district of Haryana. The site is in uh, Haryana. If we talk about like some of the features, so it talks. It actually gives us pre and mature phases of Harappa. उन सब के आपको एविडेंसेस यहाँ पे मिलते हैं गुड क्वांटिटी ऑफ बाले हैज बीन फाउंड द हड़प्पन साइट द हड़प्पन लाइक योर इन द साइट्स दे आर लाइक वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट साइट्स फॉर द गैस्ट्रोनॉमिकल हिस्ट्री और रिकंस्ट्रक्टिंग द गैस्ट्रोनॉमिकल हिस्ट्री ऑफ हड़प्पा लाइक वी हैव द साइट ऑफ बालू वी हैव द साइट ऑफ फरजाना सो दीज साइट्स दे बिकम क्वाइट इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस नाउ मूविंग टूवर्ड्स द नेक्स्ट साइट Uh, next site is surkotada surkotada which have been discovered uh, somewhere around 1964 surkotada it has been discovered in 1964 this site has been the chief excavator of this site has been jp joshi jp joshi he was the chief excavator here this site has been found in your gujarat again surkotada it's in Gujarat, Kutch area. Kutch area. You you will find it in a Bhuj district. Now, Surkotada is important because bones of horse have been found here. Bones of horses have been found here, and Surkotada was also a bead making industry in industrial site. So we find various bead making shops from Surkotada. moving towards different site that is sutkogender now this sutkogender the westernmost site uh, this has been discovered in 1927 way back 1927 this site has been found by your r l stain r l stain he found this site uh, this site is in baluchistan area it's the westernmost site of indus valley or harappan civilization so we find it in baluchistan area and uh, the river jiske kinare aapko milti hai site that's your dast river near your dast river you find uh, now from sutka kinder first thing it's a trading point it's a trading point between your harappan cities and uh, the city of babylonia and other west asian cities apart from that you find the evidence of horse the horse evidence have been found this is the third site we are talking about related to horse guys so please focus mm, moving towards the next site that is the site of amri now this site has been discovered in 1935 the chief excavator of this site was your ng majumdar he was the chief excavator of this site uh, this site has been situated amri it's in sindh area on the bank of obviously river indus this site has been found on the bank of uh, river indus discovered in 1935 uh, ng majumdar was the one if we talk about certain features so we find from here 
the evidence of antelope the evidence of antelope has been found from amri moving towards next city uh, city of dholavira so this dholavira uh, at first this dholavira has been discovered in 1967 1967 68 by jp joshi jp joshi he was the one who discovered this site but uh, this site got a broad kind of excavation under the head of team led by r s bisht r s bisht he excavated this site now from 1985 to 1990 uh, this site has been situated in your kutch area run of kutch wahan pe aapki site hai in gujarat if we talk about like the feature so um, several cultural stages stages have been found in dholavira we also have like uh, so various cultural phases have been found um, Dholavira, like your artist best he recognized the three then we have like uh, this city has been divided into three part so like most of the cities harappan cities they have been divided into uh, two parts the acropolis and the lower city the lower city here this city has been divided into three parts three division of this city happened like we have the middle town lower town and uh, your citadel or acropolis so three division of city happened here this city is also known for its unique water management system we find so many reservoirs they actually like uh, the reservoirs they comprise of more than 30% of the area of uh, like uh, your dholavira to so dholavira is important for that as well then moving towards the next site we have the site of rangpur this site have been excavated in 1953 famous people who excavated this site was your ms watts we have bb lal and sr rao these are the few, few people uh, who excavated rangpur for the first time uh, rangpur is in your mahar on the on the bank of mahar river rangpur and uh, it's in gujarat this site is in gujarat if we uh, find upon uh, uh, like if we talk about certain features so rice was cultivated at this site okay before moving forward uh, like i wanted to mention about two rivers of dholavira so we find two rivers here mansar and manhar these were the two rivers they are the they are like the rain fed rivers and these two rivers they were dammed by the dholaviran people uh, and they were channelized into various reservoirs okay now let's move towards the next site we have a very important site that is the site of kot diji now this uh, this very particular site it has been discovered in 1953 this site site of kot diji uh, the chief excavator was fazal ahmed fazal ahmed this site is situated on the bank of indus then uh, yahan pe aapko you will find uh, this code diji again the pre and mature phase pre and mature phase you find from harappa uh, uh, like pre and mature phase of harappan civilization has been found from code diji uh, wheel made painted pottery so the wheel made pottery has been found from code diji wheel made pottery uh, traces of uh, defensive wall have been found here defensive wall has been found at many other cities uh, also the knowledge of metallurgy artistic toys all those things have been found from code diji code diji is also known for its motifs okay and motifs of basically horned deity this horned deity it has been found on various pottery in your code diji this horn deity of kortiji it is considered as uh, like the precursor to the horn deities which appear on the seals of harappa moving towards the next site this site is your roper now 
this site also was discovered in 1953 uh, the chief excavator of this site was yd sharma yd sharma was the one who excavated it this site situated in punjab the bank of river satlaj this site is excavated uh, like situated if we talk about like uh, some of the features of Rupert. So we find a man and a dog burial. Man and dog burial from Rupert. It's an important thing which have been found. Uh, one example of rectangular mud brick chamber has been noticed here. So we find a mud brick chamber from Rupert. Also, like uh, various cultural phases have been found from your Roper. Cultural phases if we talk about, so we find the cultural phases from your Hadappan time period. From Hadappan time period, the cultural phases, they are found till Gupta and even later on to medieval time period. Moving towards the next area, that is our Balakot. Balakot has been found in your 1963 and in fact excavation begin and happy happened like uh, more than a decade from 1963 to 1776 like 1976 the, uh, the chief excavator was george f dales george f dales he was the chief excavator here um, your palakot arabian sea ke pass pakistan area pe aapko, you will find it's a port city and uh, the remain of pre and mature phase of Harappan civilization have been found from Balakot. Mm, it's a small site like uh, 2.8 square hectare area just that it's a like uh, 2.8 square hectare area it's a very very small site then the last important site of this Harappan civilization, it's your Alamgirpur. This Alamgirpur has been discovered in 1958 and uh, your uh, 1958, the chief excavator was Y.D. Sharma. It was situated on the river Hindan in Ghaziabad, Ghaziabad and Merit border. Ghaziabad and Meerut border. If we talk about like some of the features from this site, uh, this site, sabse pehli baad, it is considered as the eastern border or easternmost site of Harappan civilization. Apart from that, uh, in a trough, we find the impression of cloth. Cloth impression, impression, not actual cloth, cloth impression on a trough. On a trough has been found from Alamgirpur. Okay, so yeah, these these are some of the important sites which I wanted uh, for you guys to uh, like revise. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, so please uh, like the video, please share the video. Whoever want or whoever needs such kind of videos, if you are finding that these videos are helpful or not helpful, please comment, give your feedback. I would love to. Uh, listen to your feedbacks you can join me on telegram just search om shishri or you can also find me on instagram thank you so much guys for watching this video uh, we'll meet in the next video till then bye bye